Doctors in Maine say they're seeing higher rates of kids presenting with respiratory viruses in the last month compared to years past. One virus they're noticing a spike in is RSV. That rise is adding pressure to hospitals emergency departments that are already full and in some cases short staffed. I spoke to doctors at our state's two largest hospital systems who are asking parents to take some important steps. So it's at least doubled from what we would expect. For this time of year, like a 100% increase. Doctors at Maine's two largest hospital systems noticing a nationwide trend, a rise in kids suffering from respiratory viruses, particularly RSV. And we are seeing more and more and more of exactly what everyone else is talking about. But it's really pushing our staff to work extremely hard to be able to care for these babies. RSV is an upper respiratory infection. The common symptoms? Coughing, congestion, a runny nose, and sometimes a low-grade fever. The majority of children get exposed to RSV in the first two years of life and do fine. But they note two red flags, labored or faster breathing and extreme fatigue. Doctors tell parents who see those signs to bring their child to the emergency department. We are seeing a pretty good number of more severe cases that need to come into the hospital, some that even need to go to the intensive care unit. This rise comes at a time when hospitals emergency departments are already full. See, the ED, I think, has been beyond capacity for some time and working very hard to find workable solutions for things. Some have even used pediatric beds for the overflow of adults. But we are no longer able to do that. We are at capacity for our beds for our nursing staff most of the time. And this rise is happening earlier in the season than normal. So doctors are asking parents to call their primary care doctors first. And if they need more than what can be provided by the primary care provider, that's what the Barbara Bush Children's Hospital is for, is to provide that extra care oxygen, IV fluids, sometimes help with uh, breathing. They're urging parents to reach out if they're concerned and not avoid care. I have kids up here now who are here due to a delay in care. And if they've been regularly seeking care, they wouldn't be in the hospital right now. I, I get where the families are coming from. I totally understand it. I just want to make sure everybody gets what they need. Now, the tough part for so many parents is that most cough medicines are not meant for kids under the age of four. So what can you do? Doctors say fluids are critical. Rest is also important. They also encourage you to clear your kids' nasal passages using an aspirator like a bulb, a saline rinse, or something called a nose Frida. Getting rid of that extra mucus can help those kids breathe easier.